While the plan is definitely not the best, this still is a very good cut. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is my review for the second episode of Supernatural Season 12. It's always weird to say that out loud. Either way, this episode established way more uh, background on the Men of Letters, a little, at least more context to what they're doing. We got a lot more of interaction between Dean and the mom. We also figure out what really Crowley and Lucifer are up to. So the episode just from the Men of Letters, admittedly, their presence is still silly. Not on, they're not so much a threat, but they kept torturing Sam, even though he's just straight up, yeah, I got tortured by the devil. Whatever you do to me, it's not going to beat it. And this woman it just keeps on trying. And we find out later that apparently her actual original mission was to befriend the, Amer the American Hunting Association. So what? Whoa! How do you go from one extreme to another? Either way, so we also find out that there is so, there is another person, there's more people from the Men of Letters UK edition, and they're coming over here, and they're sending, I don't know why, but the immediately when I saw who this person was at the end, you just saw their hands, I thought it would be Vinnie Jones. It'd be funny if it was Vinnie Jones anyways. So, but the thing that actually was really good about this episode is the thing that I was very kind of on the fence with is the relationship with the mother and these guys are doing an awesome job on not only does she have 30 years 30 plus years I think to catch up on but just for seeing all these jokes with relating to the times and she's not it's not like Castiel humor where Castiel says stuff that's really funny like at one point like you you could probably kill me without breaking a sweat and he's like I don't sweat under any conditions their mom's humor is friendly, heartwarming, and that's something that I would, that's cool about this show. It's also cool to go into that direction, and the idea of just, obviously, just a family dynamic. What we saw originally with John as their father, we saw this very solid, very, very more so the work family. This is an actual family dynamic, and that's interesting to see. We also see that Lucifer has once again gotten himself another vessel, and I thought it was Alice Cooper, but it's, no, it's Rick Springfield. And that scenario, we'll see what happens. He didn't kill Rowena, even though we killed her last time. So I don't know why, and also she just had a spell out of nowhere that could, you know, put the devil down on his knees, but then it didn't work. So that was another odd thing, but the thing that I really did enjoy was the, dra <coughs> was the drama the resolution sort of with the metal letters and the kidnapping of Sam and the whole dynamic of the episode and just the family dynamic and this is something again that I was very hesitant about but it's definitely working out and this episode differently has pulled me in to see what happens next I also was happy to see that Jeremy Carver is an executive producer so the fact that he's staying on that makes me happy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. It was enjoyable, it was funny, it had some good dynamic, and I really, it's pulled me into this story element that I never thought I would. So, good on them. Anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.